No, oh, you just lost your PFD. I lost my PFD. So you've lost GPS one, Nav one, which we were using, Comm one, right? So who are we talking to? You better hit EGMD fast. Oh no, you can't get to I any airport information. That. Yeah. Does autopilot still work? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, then we better fly it. We're descending back onto the glide slope. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm feeling a bit behind now. I'll be honest. Are you? Yeah, I am. Okay, you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. We'll take a count, November 557 is ready to depart, lead 130 departure. Hi there, sorry to interrupt, just whilst we're taxiing out to the runway there, hello to everyone who's new to the channel. My name's Steph, I'm a private pilot here in Australia. I usually fly a Cirrus SR22, but because we're all stuck at home right now because of the virus, I thought I'd create this series of videos called Key Learnings, where I analyze flights in my past and share some of my key learnings on those flights just to keep my own pilot brain active whilst we're all at home. And I thought sharing it on the channel will help you do the same thing too. So this first flight is an IFR flight from France to the UK. We're flying to Lid Aerodrome to do the ILS and RNAV approaches. I'm flying with an instructor called Philippe, who you may have seen before on this channel. And just watch as my workload increases and I start to make more and more mistakes as the flight goes on. And stay to the end to see if you can also identify the same five key learnings that I took from this flight, which I will share with you at the end of the video. All right, back to France. While you were faffing about getting the airplane ready, oh, I've completed the serious paperwork for our last flight. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> we were both making good use of our time. <laughs> faffing about. November 57, clear takeoff runway 31, report passing 2,000 feet. Clear takeoff runway 31, report 2,000, November 557. November 57, Tuki, radar contact. Contact to Lille, 120, decimal 275. Goodbye. Over to Lille, 120, 275, November 557. G'day. Lille approach, November 55557, passing 2000, climbing 3000. November 5557, uh, bonjour, you are already identified. Uh, maintain 3000. Did call you back for, uh, for two climb. Maintain 3000, November 557. because we're on the descent now and I haven't briefed the approach. That's okay, so let's throttle back. We don't have to go yeah, 150 knots, fine. right? So let's throttle back. Let's do 20% in our descent. This is Lid, information, Papa, time 1250, runway news 21. Okay, so that's briefed, that's it. I understand that we're following the arc now. I get the principle off it. Yeah, so now when it gets to 235, Right, which is the next 10 degree radial. Yeah. Right? We're going to turn maybe 10, and then we'll turn to 315. 235, so turn 10. Yeah. 310. That's it. We totally four miles okay. To run. So then we have to re remember our final Go approach course is 207. Ahead. Yep. So sometime in the near future, right, we're not going to turn anymore 10 degrees. We're going to have to turn 90 degrees, or more than 90 degrees, even to capture the glide slope. Absolutely. Let's capture the localizer. localizer. Yeah. Right? Yep. So when will we do that? When will we do that? When will we expect that to happen? And uh, what, what radio here will we expect that to happen? We'll uh, expect that to happen. Feet, report, 10 mile, well, 30 degree forward. intercept to Pressure the control. localizer. Yeah, but when will our localizer needle come alive? When it's two dots deflected. Yeah, well, it'd be five degrees, right? So yeah. it'd be at two, one, two. Yeah. Right? So yeah, that's okay. Down with yeah, localizers a lot. Yeah. So hit approach mode. So now I can hit right. approach mode, yeah. Which has armed it now for us. Exactly. 
November 5557 is established on the ILS. November 5557, report at four miles. Report four miles, November 557. <laughs> what would you do if that happened right now? Oh, no. I'd press this. All right. Ah, oh, okay, well, it's reverted anyhow. So what have you lost? I've lost, um, I have lost my, one of my data, ed, one of my AHARs. No, oh, you just lost reference. your PFD. I got lost my PFD. That's it. Yeah. Well, what are we doing? What are we tracking? A, yeah, localizer, so this is gone. Immediately, boom, hit that yeah. button, CDI. Right, you've lost all your nav, your, your ones, right? Yeah. So you've lost GPS one. Well, you've lost NAV1, which we were using, COM1, right? So who are we talking to? Yeah, so that's gone, so we need to get him back up. You better hit EGMD fast. Oh, oh no, you can't get to any airport information. That. Yeah, so that's gone as well. Okay, so now that's his way, I'm going to my backup. Does autopilot still work? Uh, yeah. All right, well then we better fly it. There you go. Look at that, bring us right back on. Yeah? Okay, yeah. So, because we're using NAV1, right, remember, that's really important. You have to reset the program. Yeah? Yeah. So now we're back on it. All right, localizer is back on. We're descending back onto the glide slope. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. I'm not. All right, where are you looking? What are you tracking now? Uh, What's the, the autopilot flying? Where are you looking for, the, for that? The, well, it's flying the localizer. And so where are you looking for what the autopilot's flying? Uh, here, on the yes. scoreboard, so exactly. localizer and glide slope. Exactly, so don't complicate it by trying to decipher what's happening. Yeah. The, the autopilot is flying the localizer and flying the glide slope. Yeah. November 557, four miles. November 557, Roger, clear low approach and go around with a right turn out on track to Saudi, climbing to 3,200 feet. Uh, continue and then clear for the missed approach, right turn, climb 3,000, direct Saudi. Uh, November 557. November 557, that's 3,200 feet. Uh, probably 3,200 feet, November 557. So it's 3,200, it's already in there for the mist. Uh, my minima is still 490, that's still yeah. there. Nothing's changed, right? Yeah. We're still shooting this approach. But knowing that if you lose PFD-1, you lose NAV-1 and COM-1, knowing that if you lose MFD, you lose NAV-2 and COM-2. Okay? Yeah. So the reason that most instructors teach losing the PFD is because we fly primarily on NAV1 and COM1, yeah, I can right? See that. So, so that's the biggest impact for us. Yeah. So immediately if we lose a PFD, we have to know that we lose NAV1 and we lose COM1. We have to reset those to where we where we want to be. Yeah. yeah? Okay. 500. All right, so here's our minimums. Minimum 490, we would be visual to land. Minimums. We're going to go around. Minimums. Minimums go around. So turn time, twist, throttle, talk. So turn is executing the mist. Yeah. Time we don't need. Throttle I've done. Twist is now we've got a right turn to Saudi. Yeah, direct. Enter, 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 enter. And then go on to nav mode. Easy. <gasps> no, I can't. You can. What are we tracking? Uh, localizer, so. That's it. Done. So. Gonna th and then talk. That's so it. Know. Exactly. I like that. Remember 557 in the mist approach tracking now, direct Saudi. 557, Roger, clear for the Isle of Approach, runway 21, report turning at Saudi. Cleared, on over runway 21, report Saudi, November 557. No, this is good, keep loading me up. Okay, this is good. yeah, this one is going to be, we're going to make this one serious now, okay? Okay. There's no funny funny business. You've lost your PFD, you didn't make it in on the ILS, we're going to try the RNAV now. Yeah. Let's get going. How are we going to do this? You've lost the charts. I've lost the charts, so I need the um, backup charts. Good thing I've got those. You your got trusty co-pilot will get you your backup charts. Thank you, co-pilot. But okay. I'm not a pilot, so I don't really know what you need. I, I just have pulled up some charts. Okay, can I borrow the iPad then, please? You can have it, yeah. Thank you very much. And then I'll come back to that, but I'm going to put the approach in here now, so we can go procedure, select approach. I'm going to put in our minima, which is going to be, we're in LNAV, category B490. Uh, back to 
about the approach. Autopilot has failed, so now I'm handling this. We're still flying, right? We haven't even told ATC yet. Well, because we don't really need to tell them anything. Or yeah. Do uh, Is this critical to safety of flight? No. Are we like? No, no, no. We can still we can still do the approach here. Okay. Might be nice to let them know though, right? So yeah. they don't start giving us like changes. Yeah. Because if we start to have to dealing with multiple changes in ATC, hey, break off the approach, blah, 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 right? We can say, hey, just so you know, ATC, we've had a PFD failure, as well as an AHARS or ATAHARS 1 failure. All instrumentation is still operational. We can do it. We yeah. just want to let you know. That's helpful. They are there to help us. Yes. For sure. They can, might even be able to give us vectors. Everybody loves vectors. True. Yes. Right? So you have this chart up. You know exactly where we're going, what we're doing, yep. how high we're going. Climb so I'm descending. using the heading bug now. We should be at 3,200 and... 1,000,000, EQ and H, 1,000,000. 1,000,000, November 557. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Hang on, let me get my <laughs> heading. We... It's no longer right. Well, I can ah, put it in here. Ah, I can ah. put it in here. Yeah, 1,000,000. I'll be honest, I've forgotten what he asked us to report. November 557, we're now inbound on the RNAV runway 21. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just confirm if you, uh, you passed Tumba. Hey, firm, apologies, we just uh, just turned past Tumba now, November 557. 557, thanks. Report uh, three miles to run to the Mr. Page point. Uh, report three miles to run, November 557. Hello, 557, can you just confirm you're squawking 7067? Uh, no. uh, negative, we can squawk that, sorry, 7067, November 557. 557, Is that because we lost PFD1 to that reset nope. as well? No, it was inputted incorrectly. November 557, is 3 miles. November 557, Roger, clear the low approach and go around with a right turn up. Surface wind 230 degrees, 1 1 knots. Uh, clear low approach and go around with a right turn. Uh, November 557. After the government will be a basic service. Um, Squawk 7066. 7066 and basic service, November 557. 540. Alright, so I'm looking. Uh, we would land at this point, but I've got my 30 feet, so I'm not going to go through 490. Minimums. Minimums. Even though, but that's a decision, so go around. Slowly. November 557, reports approaching Tenston. And what altitude would you climb to? Uh, Roger, we'll uh, climb 3000, we're going to head west now and uh, we'll report uh, to you, maybe in 10 minutes. Roger, I'll find something. I think he's pissed off with me. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so, what'd you think of that? It's good, huh? It's that's that's your pieces. I mean, PFD failure, Adahar's failure, even though it doesn't really do anything, it just yeah. makes it a bit confusing. Hand flying it. It's, it's such important practice. The reason why I do like flying with you is because, first of all, it's you, you don't berate people, so you're not judgmental, you're not saying, no, that's wrong, you're not, you're not telling people off to do something, but you're also not light on me. So it's not like, yeah, don't worry, no, 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 let's go. So, you, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm learning yeah. a lot, but I'm learning it in a really positive way. That's the idea. And that's, yeah, that's how I really, I honestly enjoy flying with you Good. a lot, and um, you're helping me a lot, as well as it being enjoyable, so thanks. I'm having fun. Good. <laughs> Laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we took the plane back to Biggin Hill. We had a good debrief on the ground. And so here are my five key learnings that I took away from that flight with Philly. When my PFD failed, I was more concerned at the time of what had caused it rather than what to do as a result. Always remember rule number one, fly the plane. If you've been taught something once, don't assume that that means you'll always be good at it in the future. For me, that was flying the DME arc. It revealed to me that I needed to practice that a lot more. Always, always carry backups. I always carry a backup iPad when I'm flying. If you rely on charts on your glass cockpit screens, assume that one day they will fail. Remember, it is so important to carry backups, even if you don't legally have to. It's really easy to get complacent with hand flying outside of mandatory flight review. So if you get a chance next time and if it's safe to do so, disengage the autopilot and try hand flying your next approach. 
Don't think it's a failure on your part to ask an instructor to help you with something that you're struggling with. And don't let your silly pride get in the way of admitting that sometimes we all just suck at flying. It takes a true pilot to admit your weaknesses and ask for help. And honestly, it could save your life one day. Okay, what were your key learnings from that video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel and you love your aviation content, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and come and join the channel. Okay, thanks as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video.